the Kernunos type antlered figure or horned god, on the Gundestrup cauldron, on display, at the National Museum of Denmark in Copenhagen in Gallo Roman religion. Kernunos was a deity depicted with antlers, seated cross legged, and is associated with stags, horned serpents, dogs, bulls, and rats. He is usually holding or wearing a torque and has been seen holding a bag of coins and a cornucopia. Believed to have originally been a Celtic deity, over 50 examples have been found from this time believed to be associated with him, concentrating in the northeastern region of what was called Gaul by the ancient Romans. Kernunos is also associated with the Wiccan horned god in the modern religious tradition of Wicca. In Gaulish, the name Kernunos is rooted in the word Karnan which means horn or antler. Karnan is cognate with Latin Cornu and Germanic Hernas, ultimately from Proto-Indo-European Karno. The Edaman Karnhorn appears in both Gaulish and Galatian branches of continental Celtic. Hesychius of Alexandria glosses the Galatian word Karnan as Gallic trumpet, that is, the Celtic military horn listed as the Karnix by Eustathius of Thessalonica, who notes the instrument's animal-shaped bell. The root also appears in the names of Celtic polities, most prominent among them the Karnutes, meaning something like the horned ones, and in several personal names found in inscriptions. The proto-Celtic form of the theonym is reconstructed as either Cerno on Os or Carno on Os. The augmentative on is characteristic of theonyms, as in Maeponos, Apona, Matrony, and Serona. Meyer states that the etymology of Kernunos is unclear, but seems to be rooted in the Celtic word for horn or antler. Kernunos is believed by some Celticists to be an obscure epithet of a better attested Gaulish deity, perhaps the god described in the Interpretatio Romana as Mercury or Dispater, which are considered to share Kernunos's psychopomp or thonic associations. The name has only appeared once with an image, when it was inscribed on the Naughty Parisius I. Otherwise, variations of the name Kernunos has also been found in a Celtic inscription written in Greek characters at Montagnac, Aro. A Gallo-Latin adjective Carnuatus, horned, is also found. Due to the lack of surviving Gallish literature regarding mythologies about Kernunos, stories with various possible epithets he might have had, or information regarding religious practices and followers, his overall significance in Gaulish religious traditions is unknown. Interpretations of his role within Gaulish culture vary from seeing him as a god of animals, nature and fertility to a god of travel, commerce and bi-directionality. The only evidence that has survived are inscriptions found on various artifacts. The Naughty Parisius I monument was probably constructed by Gaulish sailors in 14 CE. It was discovered in 1710 within the foundations of the Cathedral of Notre Dame de Paris, site of ancient Lutetia, the civitas capital of the Celtic Parisi. It is now displayed in the Musée National du Moyen Age in Paris. The distinctive stone pillar is an important monument of Gallo Roman religion. Its low reliefs depict and label by name several Roman deities such as Jupiter, Vulcan, and Castor and Pollux, along with Gallic deities such as Esses, Smertrios, and Tarvos Trigerinus. The name Kernunos can be read clearly on 18th century drawings of the inscriptions, but the initial letter has been obscured since, so that today only a reading, underscore Ernunos can be verified. Additional evidence is given by one inscription on a metal plaque from Steinzel Relent in Luxembourg, in the territory of the Celtic Treveri. This inscription read Deo Seruninko, to the god Seruninkos, assumed to be the same deity. The Gaulish inscription from Montagnac reads Alpha Lambda Lambda Epsilon Tau, Epsilon Iota, Nu Omicron Sigma Kappa Alpha Rho Nu Omicron Nu Omicron Upsilon Alpha Lambda, Iota, Sigma Omicron Nu Tau, Epsilon Alpha Sigma, with a last word possibly a place name based on Elysia, service tree or rock. Kernunos on the Pillar of the Boatman, from the Musée National du Moyen-Âge, in Paris, France. On the pillar of the boatman, we find an image depicted with stag's antlers, both having torques hanging from them with the inscription of, see Ernunos with it. The lower part of the relief is lost, but the dimensions suggest that the god was sitting cross-legged, in the depiction traditionally called Buddhic posture, providing a direct parallel to the antlered figure on the Gundestrup cauldron. Iconography associated with Kernunos is often portrayed with a stag and the ram-horned serpent. Less frequently, there are bulls, dogs and rats. Because of the image of him on the Gundestrup cauldron, some scholars describe Kernunos as the lord of the animals or the lord of wild things, and Miranda Green describes him as a peaceful god of nature and fruitfulness who seems to be seated in a manner that suggests traditional shamans who were often depicted surrounded by animals. 
Other academics such as Kaiser Sarath describes Karanunos as a god of bi-directionality and mediator between opposites, seeing the animal symbolism in the artwork reflecting this idea. The Pelier des Nauts links him with sailors and with commerce, suggesting that he was also associated with material wealth as does the coin pouch from the Karanunos of Reims, Marne. Champagne, France, in antiquity, Duracortorum, the Civitas capital of the Remy tribe, and the stag vomiting coins from Niederkorn Turbelslock in the lands of the Treveri. The god may have symbolized the fecundity of the stag inhabited forest. Other examples of Kernunos imagery include a petroglyph in Val Camonica and Cisalpine Gaul. The antlered human figure has been dated as early as the 7th century BCE or as late as the 4th. Two goddesses with antlers appear at Bezosan and Clermont Ferrand, France. An antlered god appears on a relief in Sirencester, Britain dated to Roman times and appears depicted on a coin from Petersfield, Hampshire. An antlered child appears on a relief from Vendouvers, flanked by serpents and holding a purse and a torque. The best known image appears on the Gundestrup cauldron found on Jutland, dating to the 1st century BCE, thought to depict Celtic subject matter though usually regarded as of Thracian workmanship. Among the Celtiberians, horned or antlered figures of the Cernunos type include a Janus like god from Condelaria with two faces and two small horns. A horned god from the hills of Riatinto, and a possible representation of the deity Vestius Aloniacus near his altars in Lurizon. The horns are taken to represent aggressive power, genetic vigor, and fecundity. Divine representations of the Cernunos type are exceptions. To the often expressed view that the Celts only began to picture their gods in human form after the Roman conquest of Gaul. The Celtic horned god, while well attested in iconography, cannot be identified in description of Celtic religion and Roman ethnography and does not appear to have been given any interpretatio romana. Perhaps due to being too distinctive to be translatable into the Roman pantheon. While Cernunos was never assimilated, scholars have sometimes compared him functionally to Greek and Roman divine figures such as Mercury. Actaean, specialized forms of Jupiter, and Dispater, the latter of whom Julius Caesar said was considered the ancestor of the Gauls. There have been attempts to find the Cern root in the name of Connell Cernich, the foster brother of the Irish hero Cuhallan in the Ulster cycle. In this line of interpretation, Cernich is taken as an epithet with a wide semantic field, angular, victorious, prominent, though there is little evidence that the figures of Connell and Cernunos are related. A brief passage involving Connell in an 8th century story entitled Tyne Beau Freik has been taken as evidence that Connell bore attributes of a master of beasts. In this passage, Connell Cernich is portrayed as a hero and mighty warrior who assists the protagonist Freik in rescuing his wife and son and reclaiming his cattle. The fort that Connell must penetrate is guarded by a mighty serpent. The supposed anticlimax of this tale is when the fearsome serpent, instead of attacking Connell, darts to Connell's waist and girdles him as a belt. Rather than killing the serpent, Connell allows it to live, and then proceeds to attack and rob the fort of its great treasures the serpent previously protected. The figure of Connell Cernich is not associated with animals or forestry elsewhere, and the epithet Cernich has historically been explained as a description of Connell's impenetrable horn-like skin which protected him from injury. God of Atong Sururu, a possible depiction of Kernunos. He wears a torque at the neck and on the chest. Two snakes with ram heads encircle him at the waist. Two cavities at the top of his head are probably designed to receive deer antlers. Two small human faces at the back of his head indicate that he is tricephalic. Musée d'Archéologie Nationale, in France. Rock carving of an antlered figure in the National Park of Nakwain, Italy. Some see the qualities of Cernuno subsumed into the life of Saint Ciaran of Sayre, one of the Twelve Apostles of Ireland. When he was building his first tiny cell, as his hagiography goes, his first disciple and monk was a boar that had been rendered gentle by God. This was followed by a fox, a badger, a wolf and a stag. Within neo-paganism, specifically the Wiccan tradition, the horned god is a deity that is believed to be the consort of the great goddess and syncretizes various horned or antlered gods from various cultures. The name Cernunos became associated with the Wiccan horned god through the adoption of the writings of Margaret Murray, an Egyptologist and folklorist of the early 20th century. Murray, through her witch cult hypothesis, believed that the various horned deities found in Europe were expressions of a proto horned god and in 1931 published her theory in The God of the Witches. Her work was considered highly controversial at the time, but was adopted by Gerald Gardner in his development of the religious movement of Wicca. Within the Wiccan tradition, the horned god reflects the seasons of the year in an annual cycle of life, 
death and rebirth and his imagery is a blend of the Gaulish god Kernunos. The Greek god Pan, the green man motif, and various other horned spirit imagery. Thanks for watching.